Hello there and welcome to the next tutorial of Power BI where I will show you how you can import the Excel data inside Power BI. So Excel as you would probably know is one of the favorite uh, within the corporation to host or house the data for your department or for the analysis that you are producing. And many times it happens that we have to import this data inside inside the Power BI or any other system. So having the knowledge of how to do that goes in a long way as to how to import it. Also, this is the file that I will be using in most of the future visualization. So along with me, it will be great if you can access this file based on the link given in the description. And then we will move along together as we will move on to other charts for the visualization and data analysis. All right, so let's move on and uh, create the this uh, or get the data inside the Power BI. All right, so here we are within Power BI and as you can see, Excel option is directly given over here, which by which we can access the Excel files. So if I click over here, it will give me the option of uh, of importing the Excel file. And if you see sample superstore sales is one of the file which we will going to import contains a fictional or um, a hypothetical data set for the superstore is a sort of a grocery store across the different part of the US and we will going to analyze this even in our future videos so I'm importing this by selecting this and clicking on the open and as I would open it will all right it has encountered an error so because i think i'm using the old version of the file which was 97 to 2000 format so to solve this scenario what can be done is simply saving the file into the most recent format which i believe is in the 2016 format is the version which i'm using for microsoft Excel. all right so here is the file that i'm using and if i say control this pc and uh, I save it as the Excel workbook, uh, workbook, which it will going to take in the default format. So we will just click on save. And now let's come back to the Power BI and again go into the Excel and let's see. So now if you see, we have the two different one. We have the one, the earlier one where we encountered the error, the 97 to 2003 were uh, worksheet format file and then the Microsoft Excel worksheet which we saved it again so we have we are selecting the new file that we select uh, we converted and click open ideally it should not give any error now all right so if you are facing this issue this is the process that you need to do and good that the problem came in and I was able to show you what you need to do so now if I select the orders you have the orders table presented over here and if you see there are two more tables which is returns and users we are not using it right now but we will just going to work with the first table itself so as you can see the product based margin is is a numeric column and then there are multiple columns which are uh, textual column like the customer name the province the region uh, the shipping cost information the shipping mode so a lot of data that we have to work with we have, uh, as you can see, three different options, loading the data, uh, transforming the data. If we need to clean or do any massaging, we can transform it and cancel. So for now, I will just go ahead and click on load data, which it will going to run the processing and import the data inside. Now, if you see over here on the right hand side, you have the date column, which is along with the date sort of an icon and then sigma or summation icon that you have and then values or the fields which don't have any icon which is a textual data that we have we can see our data by coming over here in the data tab and over here it will show us in the form of a table or sort of a excel spreadsheet which we are used to of seeing it may take some time to to give you the data back and after that what you have is the model where the table is present for the orders and if we add any more table the information will going to be present and as you can see i just selected any particular column it shows it various properties like what is the customer uh, what is the name of this field what is the description uh, any synonym if it is hidden or not what is the data type 
and uh, what is the format down there you have some advanced option and uh, where in the table this field is present so if also down there if you see this information which is about uh, if you want to increase or decrease the size of the table just so that you can clearly look at it you have the option of zoom in and zoom out also a couple of more options like uh, resetting the layout or fit to the entire screen is something which is present if we need that so that's about uh, how we can get this data now we will use this data for our analysis so what i'll do is just save this file as the one where i need to save it so let me go to my power bi folder um, and i'll probably create this youtube it's the one and then add the file name as the tutorial file so we were going to use this file and i hope you were able to get the data along with me and if you find any issue let me know in the comments and if you find this useful hit the like button also share with the uh, on the social media on the communities or on the groups so that other can also learn it all right so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next topic with the new video